The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here on this uh, quad option expiration Friday. Gotta love it. In the summer. Watch out. Dow Industrials right now are down 23, Nasdaq's off 7, S&P's are down 6.5. We have the uh, gold contract uh, trading up a uh, buck and a half at 12.56. Uh, silver is uh, down 5 cents, $16.66. You get platinum flat at 9.22 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 26 cents, $44.72 a barrel. Crude still can't catch a bid, man. Pretty yeah. wild. Uh, notes and bonds, folks, they continue on higher price. You know, notes uh, up one tick. They had rejected lower price last two days, had light volume. Um, they're going to be over there uh, last swing. Have the juice behind it on the, on the weeklies now, if, if it stays right where it is. Uh, 126.28, 30-year uh, bond, up two ticks, 156.25. And uh, good old King Dollar, once again, it is selling it down. Um, King Doll is amazing. Man, it just has not been able to get a bid at all. Yeah. You know, normally, so picture, folks, this has been six months. And normally, you know, I know plenty of you folks, you know, you understand Fibonacci. Well, you know, a 0 .382 bounce, you know, you get down 10 points, you can bounce 3.8 points. Like, that's normal. Sure. That's not even, you know, doesn't mean you're going up. Sure. Because there's a normal bounce. Yes. Well, guess what? King Dollar can't do any of it. No bounces. No, nothing. <laughs> you know, uh, it... it Bounced yesterday, had light volume, and bang, gave it up. We're down 200 ticks now. When I did the update, we were down 115. Bottom line, you get a Friday. Now, instead of the gold market worry and King Dollar better worry, coming into this close today. The euro is at 111 to the US dollar. The yen is at 110 and a half. And uh, our favorite king of the market now has a great food store. Yes. <laughs> Amazon buying Whole Foods. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'd As hate... a consumer, I'm excited, though. i got to oh, tell you. So There's no and, doubt, man. I'd I hate... think the market realizes consumers will be excited, which is why Amazon's up. Amazon's up 33 bucks, 9.98. Now they, they... You know what the amazing part? It was so cheap for them. Uh, they, don't have to, they, don't, they don't have to build so many stores now are warehouses in so many cities that we'll find out how many stores they have yeah but bottom line immediately yeah. right and whole foods of course is up uh 29 percent or something yeah um, eight bucks yeah um i was trading it like 34 yesterday not bad and uh let's see uh it doesn't 13 point we'll try to find out how many stores they have they have eighty-seven thousand employees man so that's that must be some a lot of stores Right? That's 87,000 employees. That's a, uh, yes, right, that's a lot sure. of employees. And they do... See, this is intriguing. I believe that they, the, the number is uh, like 15, 14 billion, and they gross 15 billion. But that's so cool. It's, just, it's like yeah. you, you, you buy it for, just for the gross. No, no, and you're buying a profitable company, and you're buying you know a brand that... Oh, big brand. Premium brand. Great premium brand. prices that we're going to be able to yep. charge. Pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, our phone number, folks, is 877-927-6648. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at tfnn.com. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. So, we get a Friday. What do we got going on? Well, I first I went into gold. Yeah. Um, so, it looks like 8.14 this morning. Yeah. Pull and, up the gold chart. You know, gold is always, gold can be always dangerous uh, in on a Friday. That's the bottom line. Was this the real estate um, housing builds coming out maybe at 8.30? What was jumping around? That was quite a move at 8.30. Um, it might have been. There was some housing data that came okay. out, I believe, at 8.30. Okay. And is, some, that, is that the gold is, contract? This is gold, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, 
You know, so the bottom line is that they, uh, they, they not only couldn't get it down this morning, what I saw is that inside the dollar index, and it was actually really blowing my mind a bit, because we've been down for six months. The dollar should be able to bounce. Sure. And yesterday, watch this, folks. Okay, this you is just minimize that. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. So the dollar. Okay. So yesterday. There you go. Okay. So the the prior day. This is the day we went first. Okay. So on the fourteenth, right. The bottom line is that the dollar had a high volume low. So my take is that that's going to get tested. Now, that being said, it doesn't have to get tested right away. I mean, you know, we've been down for six months. Look at that chart. Yeah. It's like, okay, man, do you, want to, you want to bounce. Well, what happened yesterday is that we only did 21,000 contracts. It's like, man, you can't even make it to the swing point, which had 27,000, you know, which is 97,700. And... The benchmark that I've been using here is this not, is below that is 97,275, and that's because that was the last time that we had volume on the way down. So they normally like to do that to get to that point. Then what ends up happening this morning? This is why I bought gold. I'm watching the dollar, and like it gave it up immediately, but it only just gave it up early in the morning. It was giving it up, and it had volume coming down. It's like okay, man, this is like crazy that you actually had volume on the way down, you know, early in the morning. So this, yeah. you know, it's like, anyway, we'll see where this uh, shakes out. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right we back. Treat next segment. Oh, we got our man, Mr. Larry Presidento. We do. Oh, yeah. You stay right there, folks. We get the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 37. NASDAQ is uh, off 15. S&Ps are off 7.5. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. And uh, folks, so before we go over to Larry, oh right, man, God. we were jumping around. So you got Walmart down, of course. You got Costco down big. Kroger down only three dollars and fifty cents. But that's after they came out with huge problems yesterday. Remember, that's what yeah, we were they, looking at. Them. They just went down thirty-three percent. They were thirty. They were thirty dollars and thirty cents. That's like, two days ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Bye bye. Bye bye. It, you, know, you don't want to be in the food business with uh, Amazon, folks. It, it's uh, and if you look at Costco, well, watch this. This is this is pretty intense. Costco, you gap down. You just went down thirteen dollars. Yeah. And what was the other one we were looking at? Uh, um, Walmart. Yeah. Oof. Exactly. So Walmart. We're talk about market cap wise, with that just shaved off Walmart. Yeah. Oof. Look at that, eight percent, right? Yeah, a little bit less than that maybe, but yeah, right. Big Monster numbers. volume. Big numbers. Five dollars on eighty dollars stock to start. So six, oh. seven percent. See ya. Don't want to be ya. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavento, and folks, we get a real. Um, not only uh, uh, something that's incredible for you, uh, bottom line is that you, you couldn't even do something like this unless you've been in this business this long. 55 years, 50, watch out. 55 oh, years. stop it, stop it, stop it. And, he's, stop it. and he's only 45 You're years old. Me out. That's what I'm waiting for, man. <laughs> that's a beautiful yeah, thing. It really is. And you know, as I was getting, I'm getting ready to do this webinar next Wednesday, I've talked to some of my old buddies. We had dinner with one of them last night. And yes. you, know, you got to tell them the story about what happened on the floor that day and some other things that I, you, know, you totally forget about them. I got a lot of them written down because I was planning on doing an autobiography someday. So I've got a, a lot of things, but most of it's going to be uh, related to trading and you know the psychology of going through all the learning processes sure. and my mentors and you know it's been an incredible journey and all the wonderful people you know that I've met along the way so it's going to be a real fun evening for everybody we did this uh, um, to, to a small extent over in Copenhagen for several hours uh, in May and it went over really big and so we're going to be um, I think it, it, I think the folks will enjoy it. You know, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. Well, you know what's so cool, Larry, is that the um, what, what I've found is this: is that like any other business, technically, you know, you can teach someone how you think the market moves, right? What happens, however, is that I think you have to see cycles. Sure. Because when you see a cycle, what ends up happening? You say, oh, that happened. And the first time you see the cycle, you don't know what's going to happen. Then the second time that it's coming up, you have just some an inclination. Nothing's always the same, but you have an inclination. And that's what I think people are going to get so much out of this. Because, you know, mm -hmm. your experience from 1960 going all the way up to here, it's, it's big, man. I mean, it's... Things have, yeah, things have changed a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> well, they've changed a lot, but yeah. think about yeah. it for a second. I think how much has it really changed? It's always fear and greed, right? Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, but you but you're not getting your prices going into a wicker basket coming off of a ticker tape either. <laughs> yeah, well, now you got them into a computer, and yeah. you know you, you got these uh, fast computers that are spitting them out too. So yeah. computers For sure. can be greedy too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I know the folks are going to enjoy it because I'm really enjoying putting it together, and I, I hope the folks can come in and listen to it because. Uh, uh, it's it's an interesting you know some of the people that I've met and that's the you know the real beauty of this is they're wonderful and you're one of those Tom you and your son uh, you know I met you guys about ten years ago in New York and it's been a great ten years and uh, with some of these guys I've known for fifty years you know sure. twenty men I've known for sixty years Very you know cool. so that that's a long time that is and so yeah. what Larry's going to do folks he's going to basically start off in his. Uh, in the 1960s, you know, talk about the markets then, talk about uh, the characters then, come into the 1970s. Uh, yeah. the, I, you, know, you know, it's funny, Larry, is that I remember uh, I wasn't in the market uh, then, but when you put this, the Russian uh, grain robbery. Ooh, we're going to talk about Russia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally, <laughs> totally, man, <laughs> totally. Uh, you know, because, like, when I first got in the market, it was always, I mean, I just remember, like, being in my 20s, and you'd always have, in, in the newspaper, you know, 
Russia always needed grains. Okay. Okay, and we were still one of the big ones, and and it's like, would they come in and buy grains or not? And then I wasn't in the market, but I remember when they did come in and buy grains. Oh my God, that grain pit went crazy, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it was it was nuts. Yeah. So. And then, of course, we're going to get into the 80s, where I'm sure plenty of a lot of our listeners have been around. And then, of course, uh, right, right into the 90s. So. My first decade, the 80s. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Stop it, Tommy. Stop it. <laughs> exactly. Now, folks, we, this is what's so cool here is that, okay, you know, all Larry subscribers, you're going you're gonna to get this. And Larry's got a great newsletter, Feb, Febidashi 24 by 7. Uh, bottom line, you can test drive the, the newsletter for a month, okay? It's $97. You get the newsletter for a month, you're going to get... Uh, a great webinar next Wednesday, uh, the 28th. Yeah, so a week from Wednesday, week from 10, Wednesday. 10, 11 days out. Okay, a week from Wednesday, 6 to 8 o'clock at night, you know. Um, so check it out, you know. the uh, And Larry's newsletter, we talk about it, yeah. man. But Larry, what are you, you going to be looking at this weekend? I always get, you know, solid yeah, amount of text well, with about 15 charts covering everything so Saturday or Sunday well, and then you know we just had we just had Stan Harley today from Stan Harley stock market cycles and he made a really strong case uh, about June high and then also we had Bill Meridian on on Wednesday uh, with a tremendous statistical analysis and then we had um, Norm Winsky on Thursday for the Astro cycles and yes. this looks like we've got a, a top in place here in the market yeah, uh, you know, June 14, 15. So we'll see what happens, but that's what it looks like right now. And nice. of course, we get option expiration today. You know, not that the market's down a lot. It's not. You know, the the Dow the Dow yeah, just yeah. won't give it up. <laughs> uh, you know, the S and P's are creeping lower though. Uh, yeah. You know, and we'll see whether the Nasdaq wants to drag them down. Yeah. You know, the uh, and what is intriguing because of this week, folks, is that if we do close, you know, where we are even right now with with volume, well. Guess what? Next week you have a shot of going lower because you don't have window dressing, you don't have earnings. There's not any news sure. that's going on. Option it's like, okay, so. what's what's going to move it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have Amazon yeah. buying Whole Foods again. Oh man, hey, yeah. how, how about that, Larry? Huh? Well, I, I heard a rumor they were taking over TFNN. Have you heard anything about that? Tell them to send the offers in, man. I'll take a Jeff Bezos <laughs> offer. Send yeah. it in. We'll take it. <laughs> we, we, we'd love his offers are usually pretty attractive. We, 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 would, <laughs> we, would, we would love to talk to exactly. his audience every exactly. day. Sure. Yeah, you're right after the Washington Post. You exactly. Got it. I'll, That's I'll, fine. I'll take a three-year contract. We'll Tommy can in. take a 20-year contract with him. 20 years. <laughs> I like the, yeah. You can, what you can take five. I'm gonna take, okay, I'll take five, three. Sorry, they yeah. can have it for three more. I don't like the 20 year contracts for any <laughs> let alone my time. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, guys, I will hope uh, you get to listen in, and thanks for having I'll me. I'll be on there, today. Larry. That's it's, awesome, man. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Big time. I appreciate you coming on. Have a great weekend. Hey, take it easy, fellas. Good That's luck. Have a great one. Have a safe yeah. one. Bye. -bye. They, so just to yeah. summarize, you know, today's a great day. Now, no promotion to sign up for it because he's got his weekly report that comes out over the weekend or on Monday. Nice. So if you're going to get in, Get in there right now. You know, you'll have access to all the archives, but then he puts out a weekly report that sometimes um, he sends it out Saturday or Sunday. And if, yeah. you know, we just have time to edit it and it just happens to be, sometimes it'll get published on Sunday. Either way, it comes out before the market open on Monday. So this is a good time. Sign up Friday, get that weekly report, yes. and then you get all the reports that come with it. You just go over to TFNN, folks. Uh, you're going right in front of the carousel. An evening with Larry Pesimento. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. You got it. And, you know, just to mention, we put there, if you didn't want the newsletter and just wanted to go, you can sign up. But we don't even really cover it because it's the same cost as the newsletter. Right. So get in the newsletter. Right. You can cancel it at any time. You can get in there. Enjoy that course. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, Dow Industrials uh, right now. There we Thank are. you. Uh, down 43, NASDAQ's off 29, S&P's are off 10. Yeah, we're taking a leg down. We're going to yeah. be right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. 
Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, and if you haven't uh, test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it, folks. And, uh, well, in between that, I don't know if we uh, actually showed them. With we never got into the NASDAQ trade you made because we started talking yeah. about gold. Right. But you had gone short the NASDAQ. Right. And we'll pull up. So here is the NASDAQ. I had the NASDAQ 11 100. The two hours, 11 o'clock. Yeah, the 11 yeah. o'clock. So you made them right at about 10 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, nope, this is gold. Hold on. There we go. So 10.07 yeah. was the trade time, which was, yeah, somewhere, where are we? Somewhere in this bar right here, yeah. the green bar. And you went from 56.95 to 56.85. Right. That was quite a nice little move when you're trading $10, 10 right. point spreads. So we already closed it, folks. Yeah, so you were able to get out at 90. Cost me a buck. 90. Uh, well, just to be, yeah, you were able to get out at 92 cents on the dollar. Right. When you say it cost you a dollar, right. that's not because the market was actually seven points below the bottom of the box there. Oh, yeah, no, no, big time. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. So, until the next trade. Yeah. Um, you know, the. You got in about $36, I think, and got in, got out at 92. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, if we take a look at the. Now, let's go over to the gold market. So, uh, the dollar. Yeah, there she goes, man. This is just, this is, you know. This dollar, you know, <laughs> so you can see, it doesn't look right. DX, one second, DX M7. Oh, I see what's going on. I gotta, I gotta change the contract, that's what's going on. Okay. Um, uh, so, DX. 
No, if you just go back up. Oh, good. Uh, not the June one. I thought it had it. Now if we go. No. Okay, go ahead. What do you... I think we might be... September? Yeah. Let's see what right September there. does. What happens with the doll... There it is. Yeah. So... It's still coming up weird. Bottom line is that uh, it, this this would be the, the the contract, and you can see what's going on. We get twenty six thousand contracts already, and it's giving it up, man. We were ninety six now, two eighty five. So as we're just speaking here, this thing is accelerating, and you're still dealing. It's going to be pretty amazing watching this thing. Uh, that bottom line is that we'll. We'll see uh, if, in fact, it can put a real bid uh, underneath uh, the gold contract. It hasn't yet. You know, you know, it hasn't destroyed it. No, it's okay? tough for gold. Yeah. It hasn't destroyed it, but it hasn't, hasn't uh, done it yet. We've, we've made a high of uh, 1258.60. Right now, you're at, uh, oh, I like how this is setting up, though. We'll get this a little bit closer. One second. Hold up. Okay, so what you're doing now is that, you know, we're setting up right at getting closer to the top of the consolidation, which is this 1257. If we could break it, I'm still going for the same number, you know, like going yesterday, which is the 1258 to 1260 level. We'll see where it shakes out. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, volume out here, folks. Uh, we are going to get volume because of, uh, you can see, and the uh, NYSE, we're already done half of yesterday. Yeah. 400 million. Uh, we take a look at the composite. The composite's done 672. You take a look at the three Qs. It looks to me that we are actually building cause to, to break this B point of this ABC, potential ABC down. Uh, on the Qs, that number is 137.47, folks. Um, I think we hit 137.48 yesterday, 49, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. so now what you're going to have, if we kind of stay here, is that you're also going to have a weekly that's kind of pushing into that with volume. Okay. You know? So, um, going to be pretty wild. Amazon and Whole Foods, is that something else? Say we'll have drones delivering Whole Foods steaks to your front door within 10 minutes of ordering them. I know. So. Seriously, The man. Jetsons are here. That's what the Jetsons are here, no doubt. How about oil? Can we take a look at yeah, oil? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe even natural gas after that, because yep. natural gas yesterday kept that, going. I'm that, not sure if you that, saw it. Oh, yeah. that caught a bid. Yeah. Um, so oil right now... Oh, jump back, Garen. Uh, oh, that's chopping around. Quick. It is. Okay, so oil is up 17 cents. We are at 44.86. That's... This thing, this thing's in trouble. Yeah, get okay, better hold here or else watch out. Yeah, and if we put the, con the continuous contract up, what, what you're going to see, whoops, CL1, there you go. Put this on a weekly, and you can see 43.76 is your swing. Okay. And but what's you, you can see if we just put this up a little, you're gonna see. You know, this whole area is dangerous. Sure. Meaning, and then I'll, so that you got the danger area, folks. Like at 40, what those lows are 42, 42.20. And if you ever, if we break. The third of the 40. It looks to me like that's where we're going, somewhere down here. Yeah. If we break that, you know what? Guess what? $27, 20, yes, yeah, $26.05 would oh be boy. game again. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Yeah. Um, unleaded gasoline, we're, we're all going to be in pretty good shape here. I Let's like see. that. Uh, that's up a penny, but that's nothing. Buck 44. Let's go with the natural gas. Yeah, natural gas ain't getting cheaper. No, and you know the. Um, Not yesterday. No, that 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 saved itself off that bottom Oof, yesterday. It was, and when when we were making that trade, it was a two ninety five, and it got as high as three oh six, I think. Yeah, three oh eight. Yeah, yeah. And you know what that's going to be about, folks, is that um, even this morning in the journal, actually the front page of the journal, 
uh, and that's why here, let's go over to wheat for a second, is that uh, supposedly uh, you got a huge heat wave okay. co coming across the Midwest. Um, and that's probably pushing wheat also because... It's going to kill you know, some of that wheat crop. Well, yeah, weather, you know, if it gets too hot, right? You know, when it gets too hot, it's a big problem. Let's see. Uh, let's see, Plisha. We had a question in here about, uh, you know, at the close on quad witching. The, there's, there's not a difference on quad witching as to triple witching. The, the difference is at the beginning of the market when they close the, uh, the S&Ps. The, the S&Ps, the options on the futures of the S&P close at the open. That's the difference with quad witching. Um, you know, what, what tends to happen is that if you get markets that start heading down, guess what? Bottom line, they start barreling. And you sure. know, the aspect as to where um, option market makers want to hold them, what I've seen is this. Most of the time, if we were option market makers, we're going to be delta neutral like as much as we can all month long. Sure. You know, and at the end, I remember John Nigerian, I've been in his office and I've seen exactly how they do it. They got a big chart and here's the curve. How many you buy, how many you sell? And every day they want that even because they're sure. making spreads. Sure. Yeah. Yep. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now uh, is down uh, 34. NASDAQ's off 24. S&P's down eight and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com.
welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 17. Nasdaq's off 22. S&Ps are off 7.5. Don't forget, if you want a great workshop, folks, a uh, great webinar, great uh, uh, newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, is going to be doing a great workshop a week from this Wednesday. And if you do sign up right now, uh, bottom line, you're going to get uh, his report uh, coming out uh, over the weekend. Let's go uh, inside the uh, Dow and inside the uh, NASDAQ and see what's happening. And for all general purposes, folks, the Dow is still at highs. You know, down 19 bucks, big deal, right? We're, we're at highs. Uh, the loser out here today is Walmart. Walmart's putting 33 negative points in. Nike's putting 12. Disney's putting 5, all negative. Putting positive is that you get Boeing putting 15. McDonald's is putting 9. Caterpillar's putting 8. United Health is putting 7.8. Uh, inside the NDX 100, what we have is that the winner out here today is uh, Amazon, 3.3%. Uh, loser, look at this. Costco, 6.7%. You have, uh, oh, Walgreens, too. Interesting. Walgreens. That, I, I wonder know. if that's if we'll find something out. else going on. Yeah, yeah. that's 5.3%. Dollar Tree, 3.5%. Uh, and uh, Kraft Heinz, 2.6%. Let's go over to Walgreens yeah. for a second. My God, <laughs> that was the that actually is a, a. This is interesting. This one here just went down <laughs> when it opened. Yeah. Hey, okay, we'll see. It seems to be that. Yeah. It's talking about follow retail lower on Amazon deal. That's a remarkable one if it's going to hit that deep into So you. does, does... Uh, I don't think Whole Foods does pharmacy. Right. No. That's what I was just yeah. going to ask you. But right. maybe it's just something where now they're going to have the physical reach of all those stores. Right. And who knows what they'll get into. Right? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Now, you know what would be amazing, folks, is that, you know, people have been talking about bringing the drug pricing down forever. It would be so cool if Amazon actually can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just mass market produce everything. Right. One seller to the whole country. Right. There you go. The whole world. Yeah. <laughs> that. No? Right. And, you know, you, you can see why the the aspect that uh, the Fed is having a, a tough time reaching the 2% inflation rate because as Amazon keeps basically coming into these businesses, yeah. you know. They, the Internet's helping competition. It is. And the, the Internet being Amazon almost at this point. Right. right? And right. keeping prices low. Right. Pretty amazing. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the GDX out here. Uh, GDX also is just uh, having a tough time catching a bid. So bottom line is that it's flat out here right now, $22.08. And the GDX is the uh, Vanek Market um, Vectors Trust, folks. And that's where the large caps um, gold stocks are. So bottom line is that <coughs> what I do want to see out here today I want to see the uh, GDX close over $22.28. And what that is, that is the high of the low of the last swing point. Because if we dig into that, which we're into it by $0.09 cents right now, your probability gets higher that um, you can go to the bottom of it, which would be $20.89. Sure. You know? Yep. We take a look at uh, uh, ABX, which is the largest weighting structure. Yeah, it's underneath it. So that's, that's a little trouble. That is troublesome, period. <laughs> Not a little troublesome. Uh, Newmont, that's... Let's see what she's doing. Newmont's down 12 cents. 32.92. Yeah, that's... That's just above it by 20 cents. Uh, we'll take a look at the, a couple of the royalty stocks. Okay, so this is good for the price of gold. Yeah. Franklin, Nevada is hanging above its highs. Um, meaning that the consolidation it's been in. Uh, Royal Gold is coming into its strength. It's not the end of the world. So we'll see where this uh, whole baby uh, shakes out. The, uh, some of the uh, Dow stocks, let's take a look, right? Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to go overseas for a second because sure. the, the Nikkei last night, I didn't have the volume this morning. It should be there now. So the Nikkei was up $111 and... I still don't have it. That's late. Oh, no, I do. Okay, so this is interesting. So the Nikkei did $1.3 billion. It was going into $1.5, and it couldn't handle it. 19967 Okay, this is pretty cool. So watch this, folks. So the Nikkei had broken topside on the 2nd of June. 
The low of the high is 19,967. It had done 1.5 billion. Last night we went up to 20,000, so we get into that. We couldn't handle it, and it did have lighter volume. So the Nikkei is now going to have a shot to get out to the low of yesterday. Um, now that's going to make a difference because in the metal market, because the reason I wanted to look at the Nikkei is, of course, it's all about this yen with the gold market. Uh, oh, this is good. So the yen, that, that failed thus far. We went up to 111.42. Yeah, and so this is good. Um, you know, since our market's been open. Sure. You know, and yep. that, that was the correlation up until about a week ago. Okay. You know, that the yen was trading off our markets, you know, and then, okay. then it changed. Yeah. Then it changed. And guess what? That yen, you know, wants to get weaker. That's when gold can have some big trouble. So, how about Apple? Can we take a look at Apple yeah. as well? Because there's reports out, right, where they grabbed a couple executives from Sony. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so they're going to be doing more in content, which would make sense in terms of really yeah. trying to get into content. If they're, you know, a Goliath on the Internet in terms of having that, but, you know, s snapping up some Sony executives and, and so they're going to be producing their own content for that, sure. Yeah, and Apple, you know, Apple's in trouble right now. I mean, it just it can't. Uh, it broke down this week. And you're going to have volume on the weekly, too. Look at that expansion. Yeah. Last week we did 159 million. We're already at 186. Yeah. And it looks like what's, you know, sitting like a sore thumb is at 130, which is it's $13, but that's not a lot for Apple. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's go take a look at a few of the other high flyers. Google, down 8 bucks. Same kind of deal, I think. Let's see. What you want to be doing on, yeah, so you get an expansion. When you, folks, what happens on Thursday, well, Thursdays and Fridays, but they were Friday, it's nice putting up the weeklies when you're looking at these. Yeah. Cause so you can already understand that, okay, bang, we get. It's a big get, week. Yeah, it's a big week. And you got an expansion of volume. Um, and like with Google, it's like what, 935 is screaming. Uh, Facebook. And what, what, what you do with this, too, by the way, is that, you know, like, it's like, okay, if you're looking at five of them and three of them are down with volume and two of them aren't, it's like, that's a toss-up. But you look at five of them, four down with volume, guess what? The probability is that we are in a sell-off mood right now. Yeah. And the real question is going to be, you know, if you're long, you're coming into the close today, you know, and particularly there's plenty of people that are, you know, and the... NASDAQ stocks, because they've been the flyers. Sure. You know, do you want to go over a weekend? Do you want to take your money? What do you want to do? Sure. You know, because last Friday, what you had, folks, is this, is that no one ever thought you're going to come down that quick. Right. And the NASDAQ, on a continual basis, Oof. yeah, it just, it just kept going up. Yeah. You know, just kept going up. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 38. NASDAQ's off 25. S&P's are down nine. We're going to be coming back with Marie from Erie, Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful thing. Right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm 
Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with a global market pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's go to Marie in Erie, Pennsylvania. Hey, Marie, how you doing? I'm doing great. Cool. I, Morning, Marie. I'm really a Twitter about that Whole Foods deal. Yeah, we were just looking at it over the break, actually. And we, you know, one intriguing thing we saw is Amazon's market cap is up about $14 billion today just because the market likes it so much. So there's their purchase. For free. Paid for, just from, yeah. Isn't well, that amazing? It is amazing. And can I tell you, I drive from Erie to Cleveland to go to Whole Foods. Oh, well, the drones will be dropping See everything that? off at your door in I no know. time, Marie. I, bring them on. Bring yeah, them I said I hear And then, then you're going to save time. You're going to save gas. Amazing. The I mean, it's, is what it they're, really they're is amazing. They are. Yeah. And so I, I just go, boy, I don't know why I haven't bought Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all of us, believe me. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And I well, think right from the book, a bookseller. Okay. Yeah, really. I <laughs> I've really missed the boat on that one, but uh, don't worry. Oh well. I think ninety nine point five percent of the people have missed the boat on that one. <laughs> point nine, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we get a look at Comcast. Yeah, you talk about media, and I I never hear anyone talk about it, and I've noticed it's been a pretty steady gainer here over the last number of years. It is, and you know, so the lows thirty for the year, the highs forty two. They pay. Uh, Let's see, a yield of 1.5%. If I put this on a weekly, now this has been a one-way trade, no doubt. You know, put this on a monthly for a second. Look at that chart. So on a monthly, folks, if you go back to 2009, it was $5. It's going straight up, yeah. You know, I mean, if you're looking at some longer term, I mean, I just wait for a, some kind of correction, Marie. That's I mean, what I've been doing lately yeah. um, and uh, it just doesn't seem to come back. I know I, I'm, I'm still waiting. I'm with you. Um, uh, the number would be like $30. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And listen, we know how this goes. It will come. But this, this equity has not corrected since 2009. You had one correction uh, and in one month that went from 31 to 25 but then ended up closing the mo month out at 28. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's, it's been kind of frustrating. I haven't watched it that long, but um, once, that, once I got a heads up on it, I just haven't been able to catch anything. Yeah, and you know, there with 
I mean, that's a subscription-based business, and they're already into people's houses. Yeah. So yeah. that's a good business. And how many times do we pick up the phone and say, hey, I want to change my cable? Not a lot. Nope. You know, and we're all paying quite a bit of money for that, so. Can I ask you to look at Kraft Heinz? Yep. K F I no K R T I think Kraft Heinz. K H C. Thank you, K H C. I've been in it since 2015, and um, I've been I'm starting to get a little concerned here because uh, retail in uh, groceries is so difficult. Yeah, I I agree. Well, you know, it, what this does have is that I like that high volume high at uh, 97. Right, you know, I did too. I've been waiting for it to go back there, though. Yeah. Well, you're getting paid 2.6% until it does. Yeah. You know, so you what, don't think it's in jeopardy here? I, I don't. I don't. It doesn't, you know, that consolidation. Let me just put this. I, I yeah, I mean, it can get out of 80. <coughs> Excuse me. Not, you know, that's, that's, the bottom of the consolidation is 80. Okay. Yeah, that's a long way. I know that, but that's it can do that. You know, that's, those are high, some high volume spikes down there. Yeah. With with a, one of the problems that you know all these companies are, are facing now is what is the negotiating power of Amazon, and it's huge. Yeah. yeah. It just know? got bigger. If they if if they don't do business with Amazon, they're in trouble. You know. Definitely. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Folks, stay right there. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next, and of course, them and their swim lessons. Um, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, you guys, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.